Open source hardware consists of physical artifacts of technology designed and offered by the open design movement. Both free and open source software and open source hardware are created by this open source culture movement and apply a like concept to a variety of components. It is sometimes, thus, referred to as FOSH free and open source hardware. The term usually means that information about the hardware is easily discerned so that others can make it, coupling it closely to the maker movement. Hardware design i.e. mechanical drawings, schematics, bills of material, PCB layout data, HDL source code and integrated circuit layout data, in addition to the software that drives the hardware, are all released under free, libre terms. The original sharer gains feedback and potentially improvements on the design from the FOSH community. There is now significant evidence that such sharing can drive a high return on investment for the scientific community. Since the rise of reconfigurable programmable logic devices, sharing of logic designs has been a form of open source hardware. Instead of the schematics, hardware description language HDL code is shared. HDL descriptions are commonly used to set up system on a chip systems either in field programmable gate arrays FPGA or directly in application specific integrated circuit ASIC designs. HDL modules, when distributed, are called semiconductor intellectual property cores, also known as IP cores. Topic history The first hardware-focused activities were started around 1997 by Bruce Perrins, creator of the Open Source Definition, co-founder of the Open Source Initiative, and a ham radio operator. He launched the Open Hardware Certification Program, which had the goal of allowing hardware manufacturers to self-certify their products as open. Shortly after the launch of the Open Hardware Certification Program, David Freeman announced the Open Hardware Specification Project (OSPEC), another attempt at licensing hardware components whose interfaces are available publicly and of creating an entirely new computing platform as an alternative to proprietary computing systems. In early 1999, Sepper Kiani, Ryan Valence and Samir Nafe joined efforts to apply the open source philosophy to machine design applications. Together they established the Open Design Foundation as a non-profit corporation and set out to develop an open design definition. But most of these activities faded out after a few years. By the mid-2000s open source hardware again became a hub of activity due to the emergence of several major open source hardware projects and companies, such as OpenCores, RepRap, 3D Printing, Arduino, Adafruit and SparkFun. In 2007, Perrins reactivated the OpenHardware.org website. Following the Open Graphics Project, an effort to design, implement, and manufacture a free and open 3D graphics chip set and reference graphics card, Timothy Miller suggested the creation of an organization to safeguard the interests of the Open Graphics Project community. Thus, Patrick McNamara founded the Open Hardware Foundation (OHF) in 2007, the Tucson Amateur Packet Radio Corporation (TAPR), founded in 1982 as a non-profit organization of amateur radio operators with the goals of supporting R&D efforts in the area of amateur digital communications, created in 2007 the first open hardware license, the TAPR Open Hardware License. 
The OSI president Eric S. Raymond expressed some concerns about certain aspects of the OL and decided to not review the license. Around 2010, in context of the Freedom Defined project, the open hardware definition was created as collaborative work of many and is accepted as of 2016 by dozens of organizations and companies. In July 2011, CERN European Organization for Nuclear Research released an Open source hardware license, CERN OL. Javier Serrano, an engineer at CERN's Beams department and the founder of the Open Hardware Repository, explained By sharing designs openly, CERN expects to improve the quality of designs through peer review and to guarantee their users, including commercial companies, the freedom to study, modify, and manufacture them, leading to better hardware and less duplication of efforts. While initially drafted to address CERN specific concerns, such as tracing the impact of the organization's research, in its current form it can be used by anyone developing open source hardware. Following the 2011 Open Hardware Summit, and after heated debates on licenses and what constitutes open source hardware, Bruce Perrins abandoned the OSHW definition and the concerted efforts of those involved with it. OpenHardware.org, led by Bruce Perrins, promotes and identifies practices that meet all the combined requirements of the open source hardware definition, the open source definition, and the four freedoms of the Free Software Foundation. Since 2014, OpenHardware.org is not online and seems to have ceased activity. The Open Source Hardware Association (OSHWA) at OSHWA.org proposes open source hardware and acts as hub of open source hardware activity of all genres, while cooperating with other entities such as TAPR, CERN, and OSI. The OSHWA was established as an organization in June 2012 in Delaware and filed for tax exemption status in July 2013. After same debates about trademark interferences with the OSI, in 2012 the OSHWA and the OSI signed a co-existence agreement, FSF's replicant project suggested in 2016 an alternative, free hardware, definition, derived from the FSF's four freedoms. Forms of open source hardware The term hardware in open source hardware has been historically used in opposition to the term software of open source software. That is, to refer to the electronic hardware on which the software runs see previous section. However, as more and more non-electronic hardware products are made open source for example Wikihouse, OpenBeam or Hovelin, this term tends to be used back in its broader sense of «physical product». The field of open source hardware has been shown to go beyond electronic hardware and to cover a larger range of product categories such as machine tools, vehicles and medical equipment. In that sense, hardware refers to any form of tangible product, may it be electronic hardware, mechanical hardware, textile or even construction hardware. The Open Source Hardware definition 1.0 defines hardware as, "...tangible artifacts", "...machines, devices, or other physical things." topic computers due to a mixture of privacy security and environmental concerns a number of projects have started that aim to deliver a variety of open source computing devices 
Examples include the EOMA68 SBC in a PCMCIA form factor, intended to be plugged into a laptop or desktop chassis, Navina bare motherboard with optional laptop chassis, and Nubi series of network attached storage devices. Several retrocomputing hobby groups have created numerous recreations or adaptations of the early home computers of the 1970s and 80s, some of which include improved functionality and more modern components such as surface mount ICs and SD card readers. Some hobbyists have also developed add-on cards such as drive controllers, memory expansion, and sound cards to improve the functionality of older computers. Miniaturized recreations of vintage computers have also been created. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Electronics. One of the most popular types of open source hardware is electronics. There are numerous companies that provide large varieties of open source electronics such as SparkFun, Adafruit and Seed. In addition, there are NPOs and companies that provide a specific open source electronic component such as the Arduino Electronics prototyping platform. There are numerous examples of speciality open source electronics such as low cost voltage and current GMAW open source 3D printer monitor and a robotics assisted mass spectrometry assay platform. Open source electronics finds various uses, including automation of chemical procedures. Mecha Tro Nix. A large range of products including mechanical components have been developed so far, from machine tools to vehicles over musical instruments and medical equipment. Examples of machine tools are the 3D printers RepRap and Ultimacker as well as the laser cutter LaserSor. In the category vehicles, we can find bikes like XYZ space frame vehicles and cars like the Tabby Oz vehicle. Examples of medical equipment are the Echostethoscope Echopen and a wide range of prosthetic hands listed in the review study by 10 kateetal e.g. the Open Bionics prosthetic hands. Topic: Others. Examples of open source hardware products can also be found to a lesser extent in construction, wikihouse, and textile kit zero kilometers. Topic: Licenses. Rather than creating a new license, some open source hardware projects simply use existing, free and open source software licenses. These licenses may not accord well with patent law. Later, several new licenses have been proposed, designed to address issues specific to hardware designs. In these licenses, many of the fundamental principles expressed in open source software OS licenses have been «ported» to their counterpart hardware projects. New hardware licenses are often explained as the «hardware equivalent» of a well-known OS license, such as the GPL, LGPL, or BSD license. Despite superficial similarities to software licenses, most hardware licenses are fundamentally different. By nature, they typically rely more heavily on patent law than on copyright law, as many hardware designs are not copyrightable. Whereas a copyright license may control the distribution of the source code or design documents, a patent license may control the use and manufacturing of the physical device built from the design documents. 
This distinction is explicitly mentioned in the preamble of the TAPR Open Hardware License. Those who benefit from an old design may not bring lawsuits claiming that design infringes their patents or other intellectual property. Noteworthy licenses include the TAPR Open Hardware License, drafted by attorney John Ackerman, reviewed by OS community leaders Bruce Perrins and Eric S. Raymond, and discussed by hundreds of volunteers in an open community discussion. Balloon Open Hardware License, used by all projects in the Balloon Project. Although originally a software license, OpenCores encourages the LGPL. Hardware Design Public License, written by Graham Seaman, admin, of opencollector.org In March 2011 CERN released the CERN Open Hardware License intended for use with the Open Hardware Repository and other projects. The SolderPad License is a version of the Apache License version 2.0, amended by lawyer Andrew Katz to render it more appropriate for hardware use. The Open Source Hardware Association recommends seven licenses which follow their open source hardware definition. From the General Copyleft licenses the new General Public License GPL and Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike License, from the HW Specific Copyleft licenses the CERN Open Hardware License and TAPR Open Hardware License and from the Permissive Licenses the Free BSD License, the MIT License, and the Creative Commons Attribution License. OpenHardware.org recommended in 2012 the TAPR Open Hardware License, Creative Commons by SAW 3.0 and GPL 3.0 license. Organizations tend to rally around a shared license. For example, OpenCores prefers the LGPL or a modified BSD license, FreeCores insists on the GPL, Open Hardware Foundation promotes copyleft or other permissive licenses." The Open Graphics Project uses a variety of licenses, including the MIT license, GPL, and a proprietary license, and the Balloon Project wrote their own license. <laughs> <laughs> development The adjective open source", not only refers to a specific set of freedoms applying to a product, but also generally presupposes that the product is the object or the result of a "...process that relies on the contributions of geographically dispersed developers via the Internet." In practice however, in both fields of open source hardware and open source software, products may either be the result of a development process performed by a closed team in a private setting or by a community in a public environment, the first case being more frequent than the second which is more challenging. Establishing a community-based product development process faces several challenges such as, to find appropriate product data management tools, document not only the product but also the development process itself, accepting losing ubiquitous control over the project, ensure continuity in a context of fickle participation of voluntary project members, among others. One of the major differences between developing open source software and developing open source hardware is that hardware results in tangible outputs, which cost money to prototype and manufacture. As a result, the phrase, "...free as in speech, not as in beer." more formally known as gratis versus libre, distinguishes between the idea of zero cost and the freedom to use and modify information. 
While open source hardware faces challenges in minimizing cost and reducing financial risks for individual project developers, some community members have proposed models to address these needs given this, there are initiatives to develop sustainable community funding mechanisms, such as the Open Source Hardware Central Bank. Extensive discussion has taken place on ways to make open source hardware as accessible as open source software. Providing clear and detailed product documentation is an essential factor facilitating product replication and collaboration in hardware development projects. Practical guides have been developed to help practitioners to do so. Another option is to design products so they are easy to replicate, as exemplified in the concept of open source appropriate technology. The process of developing open source hardware in a community based setting is alternatively called open design, open source development, or open source product development. All these terms are instantiations of the open source model applicable for the development of any product, may it be software, hardware, cultural, educational, and so on. See here for a delineation of these terms. A major contributor to the production of open source hardware product designs is the scientific community. There has been considerable work to produce open source hardware for scientific hardware using a combination of open source electronics and 3D printing. Other sources of open source hardware production are vendors of chips and other electronic components sponsoring contests with the provision that the participants and winners must share their designs. Circuit Seller Magazine organizes some of these contests. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Open Source Labs. A guide has been published, Open Source Lab book by Joshua Pierce on using open source electronics and 3D printing to make open source labs. Today scientists are creating many such labs, examples include Boston Open Source Science Laboratory, Somerville, Massachusetts BYU Open Source Lab, Brigham Young University Michigan Tech National Tsing Hua University OSU Open Source Lab, Oregon State University Open Source Research Lab, University of Texas at El Paso Business models Open hardware companies are experimenting with different business models. In one example, LittleBits implements open source business models by making the design files available for the circuit designs in each LittleBits module, in accordance with the CERN Open Hardware License version 1.2. In another example, Arduino has registered its name as a trademark. Others may manufacture their designs but can't put the Arduino name on them. Thus they can distinguish their products from others by appellation. There are many applicable business models for implementing some open source hardware even in traditional firms. For example, to accelerate development and technical innovation the photovoltaic industry has experimented with partnerships, franchises, secondary supplier and completely open source models. Recently, many open source hardware projects were funded via crowdfunding on Indiegogo or Kickstarter. Especially popular is crowd supply for crowdfunding open hardware projects. Reception and impact 
Richard Stallman, the founder of the free software movement, was in 1999 skeptical on the idea and relevance of free hardware his terminology for what is now known as open source hardware. In a 2015 Wired article he adapted his point of view slightly, while he still sees no ethical parallel between free software and free hardware, he acknowledges the importance. Also, Stallman uses and suggests the term free hardware design over open source hardware, a request which is consistent with his earlier rejection of the term open source software. See also alternative terms for free software. Other authors, such as Joshua Pierce, have argued there is an ethical imperative for open source hardware, specifically with respect to open source appropriate technology for sustainable development. In 2014, he also wrote the book Open Source Lab, How to Build Your Own Hardware and Reduce Research Costs, which details the development of free and open source hardware primarily for scientists and university faculty. A new scientific journal has also been introduced by Prof. Pierce in partnership with Elsevier, HardwareX. It has featured numerous examples of applications of open source hardware for scientific purposes. Topic: <laughs> Find open source hardware products. Some ongoing initiatives provide indexes of open source hardware products for different purposes. The Open Source Hardware Association provides a certification program and maintains a directory of certified products. The Observatory of Open Source Hardware aims at supporting exchange of best practices between practitioners. It maintains an open access and curated directory of open source hardware products rated according to their degree of openness. This directory contains references of more than 200 complex open source hardware products. The P2P Foundation maintains an open hardware directory as well. See also some specific lists in Wikipedia. List of open source hardware projects Open source computing hardware Open source car See also Computer numeric control Fab Lab Hardware backdoor HardwareX Open innovation Open manufacturing Open source ecology Open source robotics Rapid prototyping Reuse